Introducing James A. Smith, Jr., the author of Keys to Restoring America, a five-book series, Understanding God's Kingdom. And now, I present to you author James A. Smith, Jr. Hi, my name is Jimmy Smith, and I'm the author of this book series that I'm going to present to you called Keys to Restoring America. And I want to thank you for taking time out to watch this video and to learn a little bit about this series. The series of Restoring America is about God's answer for these end time problems. In all these difficult times of not having jobs, homes, our families are broken, everything is in chaos in America. People are not only wondering what's going on, but why. And they're crying out, looking for every answer they can, and, and the world is just giving them every answer. And it seems like God is silent. It also seems like that there's many voices of God out there. Which one is right? Well, the Lord prepared me 10 years ago to write an answer for this time. And that is what this series is, is about. It is a five book series. The first book actually, well, well let me stop. Let me go back to the beginning. Uh, the Lord 10 years ago took me back and showed me what was to come and what. And he, and he had me write this series. And he showed me specifically about America and what she would go through and what is her hidden in town purpose. And as I began to write, as I began to set down to write about America, he wanted me to write more things. He wanted me to write about salvation because there are many ways to salvation in America, which one is right. So as I began to write, the first book came out. He, he actually had me explain his kingdom in some in simplistic terms. It actually unveils five hidden keys and it unveils the mystery that we've always wanted to ask God, such as how we created in His image, how does His kingdom work, um, who is God the Father, how does He work, who is God the Son, how does He work, who is the Holy Spirit, and how do they work with each other and with us. What, who is man, why is man so, so important to God, and how do we work, and how are we like God? It also unveils Satan and the angels. And that's what the first book is about. It's just like having a chess board, learning chess. Before you can adequately play it, you must understand each piece, how it is designed, and also how to play it and what's the strategy. Well, we're playing against an expert enemy, and we better know how to play it. So God had me sit down and write the first book, which is the foundation. Okay, and then the second book actually unveils mankind. We all want to know why we're hot and why we're cold, why we're at war within ourselves. Well, the second book, the Lord actually took me up in heaven and actually showed me what went on up in heaven before mankind. It actually, it actually unveils the origins of the, of the selfishness in man and the unconditional love in man. Before we can know where we're going, we have to know where we've been. And that's what the second book is about. Again, the first book is God's kingdom in ways that we haven't seen. The second book is mankind. And now the third book is now mankind has a dilemma. How can we overcome the selfishness within us? That third book, the Lord actually, actually gave me a seven purpose plan of how he determined to rid the world of sin. And that book actually acts as God's step-by-step -step process to salvation. With so many different forms of salvation, sprinkling, the right hand of fellowship, the sinner's prayer, which one is right? How do we know we're saved? Well, just like in a chess game, you know, understanding these peace, you understand how to win and not to win, where that third book actually unveils a step-by-step -step process so you can see biblically how God read the world of sin and his salvation process so you will understand exactly where you are. And, okay, the fourth book called Understanding God's Kingdom Through the Eyes of the Biblical Family uses the biblical family to unveil God's family on earth. The Lord told me during my time with him, the state of a nation's family near the spirituality. And he also said, if I wanted to understand his kingdom, I need to understand the biblical family, for he hid his mysteries in the biblical family. So that's a look at the biblical family to unfold the mysteries and bring them out into the open and to show us how God's kingdom should work on us. The fifth and final book deals with America. It deals with a nation's end time purpose in fulfilling God's promise. Because everyone is wondering what's going on in America, what, what, is, what part is America going to play in the end time? Well, God hid that for such a time as this. 
And as you read that book, you will understand God, God's end time purpose for America and why he is in control of all this chaos. And you will also understand his end result. So as you read this, it should encourage you, it will help you to grow, and it will help you to participate in, in bringing America back to her days of glory. And that is the fifth book. These books should be read in order. They built upon themselves, and they can be taken out individually. They're basically study guides. They're basically God's answer to you in simplistic terms. And then again, I am not a theologian. I'm just somebody that God took into the wilderness and each day he came to me. And, and so I wrote, I just wrote what I saw and what I heard. And I've heard many say that this book is not written by man, but it's written by God. So I want you to read it and choose for yourself. And hopefully it will answer the things that you need. So thank you, God bless, and please visit the website and please purchase the book.